Hi, how are you today? You're in the right place if you're over 40, over 50, if you have mature, sparse brows. I love a great ultra thin, what they call a micro brow pencil. And my favorite for a long time, also drugstore, also under $10, is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I love this one. But this one is new, and this is the Wet and Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil. So far, I'm really loving this. So I thought we could do brows together, and while I do my brows, I will uh, give you some of my very favorite tips to have the best mature brows, especially if you're having to fill them in. I am going today to get my eyebrows microbladed. I've had my eyebrows microbladed now for about a year. You could watch this video to get some information about how that works. Today is my touch-up appointment, so I do have to occasionally fill in some of the sparse areas. So even though my brows are micro, micro bladed, I still use a brow pencil. And so let me tell you about this brow pencil and give you some of my very favorite brow tips while I fill in my brows. My preference with any pencil, be it a lip liner, an eyeliner, a brow pencil, I like one that twists up. Um, first of all, I don't wanna have to keep track of a sharpener and then I always feel like you waste a lot of product sharpening but also this one has a spoolie on the other end which really comes in handy there's only one drawback to this wet and wild ultimate brow pencil and that is I don't think they have enough colors if you have dark skin if you have a darker skin tone if you have darker hair and you want a darker color then these are going to be terrific if you have a lighter skin tone lighter hair i feel like if you're going to fill in your brows lighter is generally better than darker this one runs a little bit too dark for me and this is the lightest color that they offer so we're gonna work through that a little bit later. First thing you wanna do before you start your brows is you wanna measure them out. Here's a good rule of thumb. This is not perfect, but this is a good rule of thumb. First of all, you want to start about at the edge of your nose and just line that up, and that's about where it should start or maybe at the corner of your eye. Just keep in mind that wherever you start your brow, that can make your nose either look wider or thinner. So really keep an eye on that. You also want to line up the corner of your nose to your pupil, and that's about where your arch should, should be. And then the side of your nose to the side of your eye and up, and that's where the tail should end. If you get nothing else from this video, I want you to remember two huge things. First is do your brows first. Second is the tail. I have very oily skin, 55 years old, still have terribly oily skin. But anyway, if you have oily skin, you have problems with your eyebrows staying. They fade, your face is oilier, and your eyebrows do not look the same later on in the day than they did in the morning, then I want you to apply your eyebrows first. And then just apply your primer, your foundation around your brows. When we put foundation and all the moisturizer and all the things on our brows, we have so many layers, it gives nothing for that crayon essentially to stick to. That's the first big, big, big tip if you need staying power for your brows. The second thing is remember that our face is falling, our features are falling. Be very, very aware of the tail of your brow and you want it to really kind of aim more towards your temple than an inverted V. When it's more of an inverted V, first of all, that arch is very harsh. A dark brow and a severe arch is very, very harsh and very, very aging. But also when you have that severe arch, that inverted V, it just draws everything down. So you want the tail of that brow, the last one third of your brow, to be more aiming towards your temple 
than toward your ear, if that makes sense. Okay, don't let this craziness fool you. I have a super simple way to clean up your brows. You're not gonna believe it. It's okay to really fill in the brows, kind of really color them in at the tail portion. At the beginning of the brow, that's where you want it to look as natural and hair-like as possible. That's why I really want to try to make the hair-like strokes at the beginning of the brow, okay? Over here, it's okay to kind of fill that in, but we're gonna even it out and lighten it up in just a second. You're gonna see the advantage of filling in your brows before the rest of your makeup. If you're enjoying this, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe. Come over and find me on Facebook or Instagram at Just Doing My Best and say hi over there. I will link this Wet n Wild brow pencil and this NYX brow pencil down in the description below. I have a couple other really simple, quick tips for you to have great brows all day long. But first, let's clean up the crazy. Okay, now you're gonna take the spoolie end of your Wet n Wild Ultimate brow pencil. Make sure it's all clean at the end and then you're just gonna lay it down and swipe. So go under the brow, make sure you know exactly where you want the bottom of the brow to be, and then take it across the top and just clean all that up. All of those extra strokes that you don't want, and if you got a little heavy handed, you can take that and just clean that up if you thought that maybe oh gosh that's just a little bit dark for you like I said this wet n wild ultimate brow pencil I'm using the lightest color still just a little dark for me so dragging that spoolie through really helps tone it down a little bit and with the drag of a pencil all those extra long stroke marks just disappear Any place that you just got a little crazy and those stroke marks were a little long, you just drag that across. And if you think you got a little too heavy handed filling in your brows, just keep making quick strokes and it'll just lighten all that up. I do have one more tip for you, but I hope that you go out and try to find this Wet n Wild ultimate brow pencil. I'm really enjoying it. And for under $10, hello, give me all the affordable makeup. If you like affordable makeup, check out this video next. It's some of my very favorite affordable makeup finds that I found recently. But if you're thinking, okay, Dawn, I really like that. I really like all the tips, but how do I put into practice what you said with the brow pencil that I'm holding in my hand today before I get this one. Okay, take the current brow pencil that you have right now and don't think coloring in. Think laying down the pencil as close to parallel to your skin as possible. What that does is it makes available to you the sharpest point, the very edge of the current pencil that you're using and you're better able to get hair-like strokes the closer you are to parallel to your skin versus using the fat edge of your pencil and coloring in. Does that make sense? You're gonna get that fat edge this way, you're gonna get a more sharp, precise edge of the pencil holding it more parallel to your skin. I hope that helps. If it does, again, I hope you'll like this video, subscribe, Go out today and be blessed and do your best and I will see you in the next video.